Spring is right around the corner and it's almost time to dust off the old gardening gloves. In today's Ask Angie segment, we have some top tips for getting your gardens ready for spring. With days getting longer as spring approaches, people are starting to spend more time outside and more time in their gardens. Mallory Meistick, a home care expert at Angie, is here to walk us through how to prepare our gardens for the season ahead. A thriving garden can be really satisfying and can provide flowers, fruits, and vegetables all summer long. But those gardens just don't appear overnight. If you want a vibrant garden this spring, it's time to start planning now. The first key to success is picking the right plants. Research what does well in your area and when to plant them. Different plants thrive in every climate, so it's important you know what will do well in your area. As it warms up outside, it's time to get your lawn and garden ready for planting. Start by clearing away any debris that accumulated during the winter, like sticks, leaves, or anything that fell during a big storm. Then remove any winter mulch from your garden. Uh, this allows your lawn to warm up more quickly, which is important when getting it ready for new life. The harsh conditions of winter can take a toll on your lawn. Once your yard is cleaned up, walk around and take note of any damage you see. Look out for dead grass or keep an eye out for snow mold, which can grow under thick layers of snow and leave patches or rings on your lawn. Now is also a good time to check on your trees and make sure they're in good condition. Look and make sure things aren't brown or overly dead. If you think your lawn or trees might be damaged, it's a great time to call in a pro and have them come take a look. Once the soil warms up, you can start easing into a lawn care routine. And be careful not to jump into everything at once. Your lawn needs time to adjust to the warmer days and warmer weather. One great tip, if your lawn doesn't bounce back when you step on it, it's time to lightly water it. Now is also a great time to make sure all your lawn care tools are clean and ready to use. Pests and weeds can ruin your garden before your flowers and vegetables even start blooming. While it might be too soon to start gardening, you can start pulling weeds as soon as you see them. Be proactive and treat your lawn for pests and weeds early. Be on the lookout for cutworm, which are notorious for popping up early in the spring and ruining your garden. If you suspect the pest issue, hire a pro immediately to find the roots of the problem. In colder climates, it's a little longer of a wait to start full-on gardening again. But if you're itching to use your green thumb, you can start now by planting seeds indoors. This will give your plants a head start so you can still see beautiful blooms in the springtime. And just remember to carefully replant them outdoors once the weather warms up. Once you've prepped your lawn and garden, it's finally time for the best part, planting. If it's still cool outside, consider planting hardier plants like sunflowers, spinach, and radishes. These plants don't really mind the cool weather, so they're the perfect place to start. Keep weeding and monitoring for pests. If you don't have one, consider hiring a pro to help install a sprinkler system. A timer can help ensure your plants stay hydrated and you're not wasting water throughout the day. Well, do you have questions about your home projects? Tweet them using the hashtag AskingAngie and you may get some tips in an upcoming segment.